welcome back to my channel if you are new i'm shakira and i'm a second year fourth grade teacher and i am finally 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 y'all fin about i was about to say finna wow okay my <laughs> <laughs> my lingo is coming out. I am about to finally film my classroom tour. I'm so, so excited. It is like done now. And it is like, is this the third or the fourth week of school? I think this is the end of the third week of school. And now I'm finally like finished with my classroom. So yes, it is here. So let's go ahead and get started with the tour. So when we walk in, this is the overview of my room. It's so nice and homey. Okay, so we're going to start over here. So this is like the little <laughs> little bit of library books that I have. Um, just because I taught math last year and I was departmentalized, but now I want to like get more books just because I am now teaching self-contained. So, well, and I mean, I'm teaching it virtually, but who knows if like I will be self-contained now. So that's my little library. And then there's also whiteboards and clipboards and then just my one of my classroom management systems with cotton balls and then just my printer paper down there and then at the top is just a little bit of flowers and then when you go over here it's my alphabet letters and then this is like my virtual setup and so these are the target dollar spot borders and then this is from walmart and it is contact paper that i sticked up on here and so this is like my little backdrop and i have the little twinkly lights around it so whenever i'm talking to my kiddos on our live sessions this is what background they see of me and then this here is my little um tool cart and elementary in the mitten like showed her cart and so i was like okay well that makes sense for me to have a cart instead of getting up every time i go around my classroom so um my partner did the create motivate differentiate for me um and so so in my cart i have just like my mr sketch markers and just regular markers when i do anchor charts and things like that and then just pins and things and then this is where i usually keep like my blue light glasses and my camera when i'm not using it and then i just have little tools like sticky notes and paper clips and things like that and then this side has sanitizer my chapstick and then on the second row it has books that i like to read aloud to my students so this is our current um spooky fridays book that they wanted to read deep dark and dangerous and then i also have this one this will be another one that we read but they voted between these two um and then i just have a couple of other books like Ask the scientist um al moon Voices in the Park, The Math Curse, and so this is just where I store those books that I plan on reading or like continuously read to my kiddos. And then underneath here, I just place the current base 10 blocks that I'm using and then just a marker board so I don't have to like continuously go over here to grab one. And then underneath that is just like my little dry erase anchor charts that I use for writing and I just started using these this week and then I also have math ones too so I just leave those there as well and so that is like my little tool cart over by my virtual teacher setup and then I have my iPad here because I use this to like do screen shares and I use this pen to write on during lessons and then my laptop is right here and then I'm like showing it weird because my school name is like etched into our laptop. But this is my laptop stand that I got from Amazon. And then this is my cute little stool that I got from, um, I think it was TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Um, same thing basically. And then this is my document camera that I use to share like my little anchor charts and stuff on. And then this is just our 365 days books. We just started that today. And so this is my Promethean board and my alphabet. And then I have a little gather sign up there and a little garland. And then this is the other side of my whiteboard. And then I just have like our little um, daily schedule right there and yeah so this is what the front of the room looks like and then my alphabet um they all have b words on them and so it's like be positive be qualified be respectful so it goes along with the alphabet letter and it looks like that 
on this side too so that is pretty much like the front of the room oh and then i have my crates here my seat crates and they're just polka dot and i've had these since last year so they hold up pretty good and then this is my desk area just a little overview and so this here um this here is contact paper and then this is the schoolgirl border and then this is a little reef that i got from hobby lobby and a four that um, one of my teammates gave to me so that is the front of my desk and then uh, let's laugh at my date um i have not even put the date on <laughs> the date on here since school started so i feel like this is like a reflection of like how the school year is going but it was a cute thought i've had it since last year and so then this is my little lamp that i also got hobby lobby and it's battery operated i think it's so cute and then this is another one of those crates and then this one just has like a little cart on the top um i don't really use this one that much because i'm always like over here um these days since i'm teaching virtually and so down here's just an empty spot and then these were just current books like resource books that i'm like reading into and so this is my picture frame that i have not put a picture in yet but i will one day we'll see who knows and then this is my like pens and tools spot for the desk and so this is like a little um what do you call this guys the little wood slab and then i just painted the top of this with black chalk paint and then this is just a little flower vase so that's there and then this is a little um, cursive sign that one of my students' parents made for me last year. And it is literally my favorite gift that I've gotten. And so over here is my little metal file thing. And I got this from TJ Maxx. Um, clearly, I haven't used it yet. I'm like literally never over here. I'm always over my virtual area. Here's my calendar that right now is like decoration because I haven't even filled it out yet. I have a little lamp here, um, a B for my last name, another place for a picture where there is not a picture, and my printer would go here, but for some reason I didn't get one this year, so good thing I don't really need one. Um, and then I just have my Scotch laminator right here, so that is like my desk area. And then this is my cabinet where I put like all my teacher supplies. And when we go inside, I have like little hooks on there. And then this is where I put like all of my center stuff and all of the stuff I literally have not touched this year because again, I'm teaching virtually, so everything's online. But I just loved how organized this whole area is. And so just tools, mask, paper cutter, and then more things. And then here is the other side, and this side is social studies and science. But I just love like how organized my closet is, and then this is where I keep my purse and stuff, and I just have some extra bins up there. And then a cute little mirror, hey y'all. All right, and so that is my closet area. If I can close my door, y'all. Okay, this is just the top of my file cabinet. And then this is just my mm -hmm. one of my AKA things that I have at school. And then um, this is just a file cabinet. I kind of want to like put contact paper over this, but I feel like that's going to be so much work. So that's why that has not been done yet. But I just hate the color of that, y'all. And so then this is my Monday through Friday cart um, from my copies. But y'all, there's no copies in here because no copies need to be made and so this is what i was going to use for like morning work science math centers and early finishers for the kids this year and they're all online but it's here for whenever they get here um and so then this is my bookshelf and then just on the top it's just like little um canvases that i've been given as gifts and i love like how they all match i think they're so cute up there like that and then this is just where i keep like my math textbooks that we have to use the science ones and social studies like the teacher manuals and then my data i'm only using block one data right now just for the whole class just because i only i'm self-contained now but if i ever go back to department of lines i got it there more storage more read aloud books and more resource books and then just two empty bins there and so when we go over here this 
is my little wall and I love it so much and these are from Elementary and the Mint and I think they're so so cute so I just changed this actually if y'all have seen my classroom setup videos it looked very different but I think this looks so much better like so much better and so the quote that I put on it is do what is right not what is easy so like just basically um, challenging the students to do things like all of these influential figures but I love these posters so so much if you guys don't have them you should have them they're from elementary on the mitten like literally y'all should have these posters in your classroom she also has stem ones too and I may be extra and like pin up the stem ones around the room um at some point too but I just love this whole setup and so I just have two little computers over here and so I just put a little flower in between them but I just think this area is so cute and so then this is a laptop cards, and these are not mine. These are um, for the whole fourth grade, and then they just, not the whole fourth grade, but one of the teachers just brought this down there. And so um, they just come down here and use them when they need them. There's headphones on top of it, old anchor charts. And then this is my bulletin board area. And it says currently, because it's like they're currently learning in social studies, math, and science. And like I literally set this up before I found out that I was departmentalized. And I'm not going to change it because it just looks so cute. So whatever. But yeah, I have the twinkly lights back here too. Like this is so cute, y'all. And so each of them have the standard and just the um, pocket chart. So whenever I am like teaching in person again, like I'll just switch out and put the I can statement there put vocabulary cards under here and then I hot glued these here onto the little um, thumbtack and I saw this idea on Pinterest and then I can just clip the anchor chart on it and I think that is so cute y'all and so all of them look like that so this is the back of the room and so then I just got this lamp because I just love how it looks without like the ugly fluorescent lights on. I just think it looks so homey. Like look at how cute it is, y'all. It's just so nice and homey. But anyway, so for the rest of the room. So over here is just my sink area. And then I have this little um, windmill clock, which I think is so cute. Um, and then I just have little storage down there. Nothing's really down there. I have um, small group stools right there. Then I have this little, um, not little, but giant <laughs> ruler right here. And I took a picture with this like when I graduated. So I just brought it into my classroom. And then these were bins that I used for my kiddos last year to put their um, lunch boxes in. And then up here are my like supplies for the kiddos and then also math manipulatives. So this is what they look like. And I just love how organized that looks. And so base 10 blocks is missing is because it's down in my um, virtual teacher setup or whatever. And then this is the other side with little games and things like that. And then up there I have the quote that says you matter. And that is my classroom, y'all. I think it is so, so cute. Literally in love with it. Okay, but yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed my classroom tour. I'm so happy that I finally did it. And like my classroom is like complete and how I like it. I love it so, so much. It's simple, homey. Um, I just, I just love it. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you feel like you want to. And subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.